Hey guys, hope all is well today. Today we are going to be doing a guide on Nihiligo. If you guys um, are interested in more videos like these, make sure to let me know in the comments and in the description. Or not in the description, what am I saying? The comments. Let me know uh, Let me know what kind of mods you would like to see next and uh, just tell me kind of what videos you'd like to see from me next. Um, the next thing I want to touch on, guys, if you guys are interested in professional coaching for Pokemon, you guys can see that down below. Um, I will have all my socials linked on there as well. Make sure to follow me on Twitter to keep up with updates. Make sure to also check out the Twitch where I do stream battles for you guys to look at. Um, just uh, educational content as well where we just talk about a different mon uh, a bunch of different mons related things that are just like very nice to touch on, such as like discussion oriented things, um, optimization of your teams. Uh, just like uh, battles in general it's just very helpful and also make sure to join discord where you have a bunch of free resources and a bunch of people who are willing to help you out and help you become a better player so thank you guys again for all the support and i will see you in the video guys so for our first nihi set the nihi set that i think is probably one of the best sets besides the other power herb set which i will be touching on in the next um section of this video it's basically going to probably be like nearly the same thing obviously because it is the same item but basically power herb nihiligo is very strong because of its ability to be able to deal solid damage with its meteor beam meteor beam is just a very strong move in general meteor beam is just able to boost up nihiligo's special attack right before it attacks and then it uses the move the power herb is very good because it allows nihiligo to go for this damage um which is just very good for Nihiligo in general. Just being able to go on the offensive as well is just something that's uh, naturally good for Nihiligo, considering it is, is generally for Elmon. Now, you may be wondering, okay, well, why is this Nihiligo so bulky? So, Nihiligo has a very good HP stat normally, so it doesn't actually require that much investment. This investment is just to slightly optimize the damage you will be taking from Hail and other chip forms, such as, um, ba yeah, basically Hail is the only one that takes, it doesn't take sand damage. Um, the defense allows it to hit the um, number of 103, which is a prime number, which will better Nihiligo's um, defense stat, which is very good. And then the special attack is just maxed out, so Nihiligo can keep that offense that makes it so strong. So basically, the benefit of running a Nihiligo like this is on a more slower defensive team, where basically you have more support-oriented options for the Nihiligo. So one option that um, can be paired with this Nihiligo specifically can be something like a Kofari. It can be something like a Landorus. Basically, this Nihiligo is meant to capitalize on the bulk it has in its uh, HP so that it can beef up its defense and actually be pretty um, pretty strong overall defensively. Um, get, generally, this is better on teams that require something like a Landorus or an Incineroar that are able to intimidate incoming attacks as i mentioned clefairy is very good next to this so i definitely think this is a good nihiligo on a team that is meant to be slower and not as offensive as we mentioned this power herb nihiligo is similar in nature to the nihiligo that you guys would be seeing um in the previous uh version or like the previous um spread the only difference is is that um this spread is a little more offensive and this is better for offensive teams now you may be wondering on both of uh the sets why you would have something like why you would have something like um the trick room right and the trick room basically gives you another form of speed control in your nihiligo so that way for example you're facing a bulky offensive tailwind team you can reverse and set trick room for your team right you have other ways to kind of prevent uh, their team from being a little too offensive or having too much advantage over your nihiligo so this nihiligo is better on offensive cores like um nut which if you guys don't know what nut is nihiligo under uh no nihiligo urshifu thunderous um, those are a common combination together. They both have a lot of, or all three of them have a lot of offensive pressure together. And basically, that's the main reason why Nihiligo is run on the team because it covers things that originally Urshifu and Thunders would not like, such as Tapu Koko, Tapu Fini, to some extent. Obviously, Thunders can deal with that as well, and just Fairy types. So that definitely makes Nihiligo a very valid option. I think Nihiligo is a very, very consistent mon. I do think Power Herb is probably the best set on Nihiligo. Um, you're seeing with this spread, obviously, this spread is a little more straightforward. It's it, the problem with Nihiligo is is like if you're not building it bulky you're kind of just building it 252252 because it's already a, a frail mon in nature so therefore you're not really going to be uh building it with the intention to have any many specific calculations in mind specifically because you're going to want this Nihiligo to be fast and hit as hard as possible the previous one I showed is a little bit more defensively oriented because Nihiligo has the bulk or rather HP to be able to uh, afford that but it's on the appropriate teams where you should be doing that so obviously the move sets the same sludge bomb just a strong stab move meteor beam to get the power herb boost trick room to be able to just reset speed um kind of put you in a more advantageous position and then you have protect to just you know obviously protect your nightly go from attacks so that would be the power herb set and both ev variations of that so for our final Nihiligo set here, you're going to be seeing a Sash version of Nihiligo. Now you may be wondering, 
why would you want to go with a Sash and I Lego particularly, right? So Sash and I Lego actually has a, a cool few options that uh, the Meteor Beam version does not have. So this Sash and I Lego actually will be running Acid Spray. The reason why I have Acid Spray on here, it could also be Trick Room as well. The reason why I like Acid Spray on this specific Naya Lego is because it actually pairs very well with special attackers. So Naya Lego in general has a pretty decent like move coverage and acid spray basically works similar to fake tears on whimsicott would work or fake tears on another prankster mon would work except that obviously it's based on nihiligo's just attack set and nihiligo getting the hit off first nihiligo actually has a very good speed tier for outspeeding a lot of good special threats such as charizard hydragon mons like that and basically what this what this uh, move allows you to do is is it allows you to have basically a fake tears effect along with an attack so the only time this wouldn't really work is against a steel type however i do think this is very good next to special attackers that really enjoy the special defense drop and i do think that this set in general allows nihiligo to be as offensive as possible without being worried about getting ko'd um because nihiligo does typically not have as great um bulk and basically unless you obviously invest into it and this sash set allows you to kind of live a turn and not be worried about getting ko'd immediately this nihiligo is definitely gonna be better next to special attackers that underspeed this nihiligo obviously if it outspeeds it it's not going to work as well together also you can run sash on a, or you can run trick room on this sash nihiligo over acid spray however i do think that for the most part like um you should you should not be like in positions where you need the sash to be able to get the trick room up normally with nihiligo however i do think it's a valid option if like that's your only way to be able to get up trick room so i do respect that option as well i do think that's something you could potentially do um nihiligo is a mon and this is something that i think is very interesting it is a little bit linear in terms of what it does however it's few sets do have some particular differences right so the sash nihiligo over here the main thing that gives it the edge over the other nihiligos is if you're trying to live every single attack going into it and the benefit is too is you're not taking sand chips so that's one form of chip that's removed that's basically going to prevent your nihiligo from having its sash burned which is pretty nice um if you look at it in general too it does actually offer a better supportive role than the other sets um which does actually create a noticeable difference depending on your team composition nihiligo is a very team composition dependent mon so these three sets are probably the best sets for it uh in general you i've seen scarf acid spray being run before however i don't think that's very good because remember you're locking yourself in and that means you need to swap so i do think that out of all the sets um I would probably recommend the Power Herb set before I recommend the Sash set. However, if you have a team that has a special tech herb that would appreciate the Acid Spray first, then Sash is a very valid choice. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video on Nihiligo. Um, obviously, as we mentioned at the uh, mid part of the video or towards the Sash set, basically Nihiligo is a bit more linear of a mon, so its sets aren't too different. However, I do think that um, you can run those three variations of sets depending on your team composition. Uh, it may have looked a little straightforward, but there was a lot of thought put into the actual EVs, especially for the bold one. Um, it, it just ended up looking simplistic because for the bold one, you really do need to invest a lot into defense to be able to kind of capitalize on its, uh, you know, capitalize on its uh, stats, basically. But yeah, um, if you guys are interested in the professional coaching that I offer, make sure to check out that link down below. If you guys are interested in checking out the Twitch channel, make sure to do that as well. And thank you guys again for all the support. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what mon you would like to see next, guys. Thank you, and see you in the next video, guys.